Hello everyone, it is Teresa from Teresa's Spot for Art, where I love sharing art from my heart and helping you create a little joy in your life through some fun, simple, and quick art projects. I have a silhouette that I printed out, I have a pencil, and some graphite paper. I'm using my 9 by 12 mixed media art book. I've lined up my printout that I'm going to use. I'm going to slip the graphite paper right underneath it. And then I'm going to outline and trace the whole entire thing. You can be as detailed as you want on the outside, but of course it's only going to be a silhouette, so you're not going to do all the detail inside the house. If you're watching this on the recording, feel free to fast forward. You probably don't want to watch me outline every single thing. Now this project only takes three colors. I'm going to use yellow and orange for the background and then black for the silhouette. This is a great project to do with kids or when you have a little bit of downtime and you feel like painting, um, but you want to just do something quick and simple and mindless. I uh, traced the whole witch. Now I'm tracing the bottom part where I have the cemetery. I'm only tracing the basic outlines of all the elements. When I outline the house, I'm just doing the outside edge around the chimney. I know this printed off, it got cut off, but I'm just going to put the point in there for the top of the roof. And I'm just doing the outside edge. When I do the windows, I will add a little bit more detail. And you can do all the windows, some of the windows, a few of the windows. It's totally up to you. The bushes on the ends are just um, uneven little round parts. You don't want to add in any detail. You're not going to see them anyway. So now I'm going to trace in the windows. I'm just doing the bottom ledge, the little arch, and the divider down the middle. And the rest of it's just going to be a silhouette. Let's not forget the door. And basically all the fence and all the detail on the bottom, we're just going to skip that because the whole bottom is going to be black. Traced in, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm just looking at the picture and adding in a few little details. You could go over this now with a Sharpie if you wanted to. I think mine will be plenty dark enough that I don't have to go over with a Sharpie. It really depends on what colors you're using for the background. And since I'm only using yellow and orange, I'm sure I will be able to see my pencil marks. The first thing I want to do is base coat in all my windows with some bright yellow. This way it'll dry and then we can add the details after we do the rest of the painting. And again, I can still see the window details inside my windows where I have like where I'm going to create the window panes. And I think that's it. a one inch brush and I'm going to double load it with orange and yellow and I'm just going to start blending in the orange and the yellow. I like my background to be more of a circular motion 
if you want to do your lines vertical or horizontal that's totally up to you I like the circular motion and I'm going to add a lot of yellow around where my moon is in a big circle and I'll go back and continue in with my orange if you get some over your um, lines that you drew in that's totally fine because you want all the background to be behind the elements and then when you come back in with black it's going to just fix everything so don't fret if you've gone over your pencil lines a little bit with your orange and your yellow because I like the circular motion I'm just coming across the top with a little bit of a curve I'm flipping my hand up and down I want to add a little bit of yellow in there as well, brighten it up. And you can make this as dark or as light as you want. Oh, need a little bit more orange. And then I just want to come across the bottom and get behind my tray. I want to fix my round moon a little bit and make it a little bit brighter. I want my circle to be too wonky. A little fix on the bottom. It's acrylic paint. You can fix anything. This is especially easy because you want it to be blending. You want your orange and yellow to be blending, so that's totally fine. Now I'm going to switch to my quarter inch flat brush the little one I started with and go into my black and now it's just a matter of filling in the whole silhouette Let's start on the bottom I want to get the jagged edge of my bushes in there I'm going to start filling in my tree and paint the base and then that's it I'm going to just go in and fill in all the black I'm going to go around the windows I'm going to around the door you could do this with any silhouette that you have it's simple just print it off and trace it onto your design. Just want to get up here on the roof. Might have to switch to a smaller brush, but this will work for now. And see the black covers right over the orange. I could have grabbed the dryer if I wanted to, but this will work. And don't forget this is recording. If you want to fast forward, go right ahead. The fun part is the trees. I like to skip around if I have too much paint on my brush and I don't want it to get on the windows and whatnot. I'll come up and I'll just do the details and then I'll come down to the bottom and wipe my brush. That's why you see me skipping around a little bit. Now I'm going to start on the tree. You want your trunk to be nice and thick, but as you work your way up, your branches are going to get thinner. I love painting trees, and sometimes I get a little carried away. It's just a series of Y's, 
squigglies and as you go up higher on the tree your branches get a little bit more skinnier and narrower and I just go in there with my liner brush and just create branches it's so fun and there's no right or wrong to making trees as long as you just keep adding in Y's and getting skinnier as you go up your tree can be as big and as full as you want it to be Now I'm doing the second tree. It's not going to be as big as the first tree because I want to be able to see my witch. So I'm just going to fill in some of the branches here. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. Maybe it's closer and the other one's further back. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom corner. I'm going to start in on the tombstones and the cemetery part. I'm just basically going in and painting in all the basic shapes. I'm going to start on my witch. I can see my pencil lines in here, but it does not have to be exact. It's a silhouette. You can add as much detail as you want to the outside of it, but I'm just basically tracing over the outline of what I penciled in, and then I'll go back and fill it all in. I'm just fixing up my lines a little bit with my liner brush, some of the details on the roof. Now I'm going to get some orange and I want to add some highlights to all of the windows. Just gives it a little bit more dimension and detail. I'm not going to completely cover the yellow, but you just want to add some orange so they're a little bit highlighted. Then I'm going to go back to my liner brush and I'm going to add in the line work for the window panes.
I'm adding a little bit of yellow highlight to our door, otherwise we won't be able to see where the door starts and ends. And then I'm just putting in a little few lines here of the yellow, almost dry brushing in so you can see the steps. And that's it. So that is basically it. Isn't that cute? So grab a um, silhouette, and there you have it.